Hi there, my name is Ben Eubanks. I'm a blogger over at Upside HR. I'm also an analyst at the Brandon Hall Group. I want to take just a minute today to talk about The Culture Engine by Chris Edmonds. I recently read the book, thoroughly enjoyed it. I've always been kind of a culture junkie. But there were two things specifically that I want to talk about today as far as this review goes. So the first one is finding out the cost of your low-fit, high-performing employees. And what that means is think about the employees that you have right now. There are some of them that instantly, when you think about it, they are a poor fit for your culture, but they're also superstars in terms of their performance. What do you do about that? Well, the hard thing to do for most of us is to actually confront that, think about it, and give some real guidelines, some real thought to how to fix that problem. Most of us, to be completely honest, want to kind of sweep under the rug. If they're getting good results, we don't want to upset the apple cart. We don't want to risk you know, losing them by confronting them about their behavior, the ways they're not fitting the culture, and so on. But it's so important to think about the actual cost, as, as Chris puts in the book. You, you've got to think about the cost of that, because it might not be costing you anything um, now, but in the future, team turnover, issues with customers, other sorts of things where they don't match the values of the company, you're going to run into something at some point. It's going to happen when you have someone that's a low fit but a high performing employee. If you keep them around long enough, it's going to cost you some way that might not be obvious today, but is going to make you wish in the future that you've confronted it sooner. So think about that, number one. And the second thing I wanted to talk about was defining your values in behavioral terms. Everybody has a core value list stuck on a wall somewhere. But what do those really mean? Did you, do you ever stop as a leader and think about, okay, we say we want people to, to show integrity, but do they know what that means in behavioral terms and, and real everyday activities and actions and things they're doing? Do they know what it means to do that? Don't assume they do because everyone's measure of what integrity is is a little different. Some people think that this is okay. Some people think that that's okay. And some people think that it's black and white completely. So you need to figure out what's your actual definition of integrity, of um, you know, open communications, of an enjoyable working environment, whatever sorts of things you decide to put in t into your corporate values, you need to make sure that you're actually showing the people, telling the people, giving them examples of what those behaviors look like in everyday life. So again, the book's The Culture Engine. I highly recommend it if you're a leader, you're looking for ideas, or you're trying to support kind of the culture of your organization, you're trying to figure out how to do that, or what even the value of that is. It's, a, it's an excellent book. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.